Hello folks, I'm Andre, one of the principal open source architects at Huawei Open Source Technology Center. I'm going to present to you today a Onero reference design applied to a vending machine use case. Onero is an Eclipse Foundation project focused on reducing fragmentation in the consumer and IoT device industry, led by a working group organization to which Huawei is an active member. Onero project integrates its various components into representative use cases called blueprints. A blueprint shows off the operating system capabilities and best practices in building software-based products. To this end, blueprints are a way to distill real-world products into an MVP, a minimum viable product, to demonstrate how partners and users may adopt Onero project securely for their own use cases. To put it simpler, it is a form of dog fooding, our closest approach to actual products created using Onero project. They become at core either an accelerator for partners reusing the blueprint as primitives for their final products or as demonstration and best practices serving as an example on how our users can integrate into a neural project for the purposes of creating a real product. I like to say that in either case, a blueprint becomes your product highway, giving you all the benefits of a neural project. Build system, IP compliance, CI, OTA, etc. instantiated on your own specific use case. Now, the vending machine blueprint is yet another blueprint powered by Onero project. If you check our documentation and code, you will find that there are more provided by the project. We have a smart panel blueprint, a smart door lock blueprint, a touch panel blueprint, to name just a few. Great. So getting back to the topic of this presentation, what is a vending machine? I guess explaining it would be just a bit redundant, just because we all got a beverage or a snack while waiting for flight gates to open. They are basically systems that control delivery of products based on a user interface. And that's exactly what we implemented with this blueprint. In terms of the hardware setup, the vending machine blueprint takes advantage of the following components. At the core of it, there is a Intel-based B68 board from Seco, an Italian device maker, member of the Onero working group. Along that, we have a 7-inch display from Waveshare. And lastly, we have an RGB LED matrix from Pimoroni. Connection-wise, it's pretty straightforward. The HDMI display is connected to the display port uh, of the B68 through a display port adapter. Also, the USB port of the display is connected to the B68 for touchscreen functionality and power. And lastly, the RGB LED matrix is connected via DuPont wires to one of the I2C interfaces on the same B68 board. Other than that, just power provided to the board. All this information and much more you're going to find on the official Onero project documentation website. That is docs.oneroproject.org. So if you go there right now and we click on Onero project blueprints and then navigate to vending machine blueprint, architecture and interfaces, we get a chance to talk a bit about the software architecture and components um, on the operating system in the scope of this specific blueprint. We have developed three applications. One is a UI application written in LVGL framework that provides the user interface on the display. This application communicates over WebSockets with a IO control application, uh, which handles the communication with the LED matrix. Now the actual communication, the I2C based communication with the matrix is handled uh, via a user space driver written on top of I2C dev, uh, a Linux kernel facility. In our use case, the LED matrix 
is a simulation of the actual vending machine. You would replace it with controlling pumps, with controlling actuators or whatever you have on your specific device. We simulate that by LED operations. So you would uh, light up uh, different colors of LEDs based on the operation that is handled at that, point, at that moment of time. Now we know what a blueprint is. We know what this specific blueprint hardware setup looks like and needs. And we also know the software architecture and software components that are going to be involved in running this blueprint. So the next is going to be building and running this blueprint. Building the operating system for this blueprint is very similar to building a reference image for a reference hardware in a Nero project. So if you've done something like that in the past, this might look familiar to you. So the first thing we are going to invoke is the OE init build environment script. This creates a new build environment in the build Linux directory, also taking consideration the template configuration for the Linux flavor. Once this is done, we need to inject two layers. The first layer is the Meta Home Assistant. This is because the Meta Home Assistant is a dependency to the Meta on Nero blueprints. So now that we have that dependency satisfied, we can add Meta on Nero blueprints as well. So now the configuration of the build has access to all the metadata for the blueprints. So we are now ready to build the actual image. Building the image means basically invoking the bitbay command, passing to it the target, which in our case is the blueprint dash vending dash machine image, building it for the machine Seco Intel B68, as I've described earlier in the hardware setup, and also selecting the right distro configuration for this blueprint, and that is on Nero dash Linux dash blueprint dash vending dash machine. This process will uh, take just a couple of seconds for me, but it might take much longer for you. And this is because I have a pre-built uh, environment uh, at my hand right now. Great, so th this is done. We are now ready to burn the SD card. And I'm going to do that taking advantage of the bmap tool, passing to the image name. and also the device node associated with SD card. Right, so while this gets written, just a word of warning, uh, make sure you select the right device node um, associated with the SD card and not something else that you have attached to the system because you might destroy uh, data. Right, so this is going to be done just in a couple of seconds. Great, we are now ready for our last step, popping the SD card into the target and firing up the engines. The SD card reader is right here. I'm going to uh, insert the SD card into it and turn on the power. The application provides us with a grid of items. Each item has an associated LED on the matrix. So item one, so row one, column one, is going to be associated with LED column one, row one. So I can select an item, deselect an item, I can select multiple items, I can deselect multiple items, and once I'm happy with a selection, I can go ahead and click buy. The associated LEDs will turn blue, signifying that they are undergoing the delivery process. So the UI waits for that process to finish. Once that happens, a confirmation message is provided and the process resets. And that was the vending machine blueprint, powered by our Nero project. Feel free to visit our official website, onyroproject.org. Also, 
dig into our documentation docs.neuroproject.org and get in contact with us, get involved and let's build together things that makes our lives easier. Thank you.